In this video, we're going to talk about how to draw the Lewis structure of nitrogen dioxide, NO2. Now, the first thing we need to do, as always, is count the number of valence electrons in this molecule. Nitrogen has five valence electrons. Oxygen has six, and it's two of them, so we need to multiply that by two. Two times six is 12. 12 plus five is 17. So we have a total of 17 valence electrons in this structure. Now, what we need to do is count how many electrons or calculate how many electrons will be on a central nitrogen atom. To do that, subtract 17 by the highest multiple of eight, just under 17. So multiples of eight are eight, 16, 24, 32, and so forth. 16 is the highest multiple of eight, just under 17. So if we were to take 17 subtracted by 16, we would get one. This tells us that there's going to be one electron or half of a lone pair on a central nitrogen atom. Now, the fact that we have an odd number of valence electrons tells us that this molecule is going to be a radical. We're going to have half of a lone pair somewhere. So let's put this together. So we have our central nitrogen atom and our two oxygen atoms. And we know that nitrogen is going to have one electron or half a lone pair on it. Now, nitrogen wants to have eight electrons at most. Right now it has one. If we put a bond between N and O, it will now have three electrons around it. If we put another bond, that's going to be five. And then seven. Now we can't add another bond because that's going to be nine electrons. It's going to be too much. So the best or the closest that we can get to eight is this structure here. That is seven electrons around nitrogen. Now oxygen wants to have eight electrons around it. And this oxygen has two bonds or four electrons so far. So we need to add two lone pairs to get to eight. And this oxygen has one bond or two electrons around it. So it needs three lone pairs to get to eight electrons. So notice that we have a total of 17 valence electrons. Two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14, 16, 17. So this, this is the Lewis structure of NO2, nitrogen dioxide. Now the molecule is a neutral molecule overall, meaning that its overall charge is zero. However, there are charges within its molecular structure. And we could calculate those charges using the equation for formal charge. So here's the simplified equation. The formal charge is equal to the valence electrons of the element minus the bonds and dots attached to the element. So let's calculate the formal charge on the element nitrogen. Nitrogen has five valence electrons. In this structure, it has a total of three bonds and it only has one dot. So three plus one is four. 5 minus 4 is 1. So therefore, the nitrogen atom has a positive formal charge. Now let's do the same thing for oxygen. Let's focus on this oxygen. Oxygen has 6 valence electrons, 2 bonds, 4 dots. 6 minus 6 is 0. So the oxygen on the left is neutral in charge. Now let's focus on the one on the right. It's going to be six minus, it has one bond, three lone pairs, which is six dots. So that's six minus seven, which is negative one. So this oxygen has a negative one formal charge. So if we add these two charges, it's going to be neutral overall. Now we can draw the resonance structure of the NO2 molecule. We could take a lone pair, use it to form a pi bond, break this pi bond, and push those two electrons on that oxygen atom. And so the resonance structure 
will look like this. The only difference here is that the double bond moved from one oxygen to the other one. But nitrogen maintained its positive formal charge. So that's the resonance structure of the NO2 molecule. So that's basically it for this video. So now you know how to draw the Lewis structure of the NO2 molecule, and you also know how to draw the resonance structure as well.